guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. I appreciate you tuning in. Today's video is about meditation. What are the benefits of meditation? Uh, why you should do it? And really how to start. And during the video or towards the end, uh, I'm actually gonna take you through a guided meditation uh, just to give you a taste of what some of the benefits are. The first question you might have is, what is the purpose of meditation? And what's it about? Why do I even do it or why should I do it? To me, the purpose of meditation is really to create stillness and awareness. When you sit still and you're in silence, what you do is you're becoming aware of the thoughts in your own mind. Some people think the purpose of meditation is to control your thoughts, and that's not it at all. Uh, the purpose of meditation is to become aware of your thoughts so that your thoughts don't control you. Uh, a lot of people don't even realize when they're going about their day, me included sometimes, is that we're just kind of running on this automatic tape, uh, this cycle of habits and things we normally do. Uh, when in reality, what you want to do is create the awareness um, and let them go so that you don't react to situations, uh, do things or say things that you wish you wouldn't have said. You know, we've all done that before. So the real purpose is to be still and aware of your own thoughts so that the thoughts don't control you. A good buddy of mine who helped wake me up uh, really started diving into meditation with me uh, gave me some of the two most powerful and accurate analogies for meditation and what the purpose is uh, the first analogy you told me and the way to go about it is uh, if you imagine a train station if you imagine that your mind is the train station and your thoughts are the train and you're standing there at the train station your job is to watch the train come into the station and watch it go by and simply just observe it. Your job is not to jump onto the train. So in other words, your job is to be still and acknowledge the thoughts as they come into your mind and just wave at them and then just watch them pass by and let them go. So again, why, why are we doing this? Well, again, the stillness and the observation allows you to create the awareness for your thoughts of your thoughts so that your thoughts don't control you. The other thing I'll say about the purpose of meditation is it's really whatever purpose you want it to be, to be honest. Uh, for me, I mean, I'll set an intention sometimes or I'll ask a question. Uh, and in the silence and the stillness, a lot of the time what arises is the answer to my question. Uh, maybe it won't be in the same session or the same day. It might come you know, a couple days later, the next day, it might come a week later. Uh, but eventually, some of these questions that I ask myself, I'm you know, kind of getting in touch with my own wisdom, my own soul. And what that does is it produces the answer that I'm looking for. So let's go into the actual tangible benefits of meditation. What exactly is going on? Uh, one of the biggest benefits of meditation that I think will help a lot of people uh, is to help you reduce your stress levels. Um, how? Well, when you're sitting still and you're quiet and now all of a sudden you don't have the monkey mind or the motor mind and there's all this crap I'm like, oh my God, I got to pick the kids up, but I got to go to work, but I have a deadline uh, for you know this project I got to do, but I'm still trying to work out. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to eat right, blah, blah, blah. Like see how already there's so much stress, that's so much crap. You're able to sift through and simplify things and create Again, the inner peace, that inner peace reduces your stress level. And I'm sure you've heard before, as we all know, stress is one of the worst and most powerful uh, detriments to our health, our mental health, our physical health. So when you can reduce your stress level, you're creating this peace and well-being. Another huge benefit of practicing meditation regularly uh, is it helps you with anxiety and depression. I'm somebody who, you know, has been in severe suicidal depression, huge lows, incredibly anxious on the verge of panic attacks. Uh, and again, meditation, the benefit is it's creating a present. It's creating uh, a peaceful being in the moment where you're not worried about crap that happened in the past or stuff that's gonna happen in the future and worrying yourself, getting yourself worked up. There's a, a great quote that I heard, um, you 
you know, and I think it's from Lao Tzu. I'll, I'll have to look it up for you guys. But anyways, the quote is, people who are depressed are living in the past. People who are anxious are living in the future. People who are living in peace are living in the present moment. Another big benefit of meditation uh, is in your improved sleep patterns. I'm sure we've all had it where, I'm sure you've had it where, you know, you're going, you're going, you're going, and you're exhausted throughout the day. But what happens is when your head hits that pillow, geez, it's like a freaking flood of thoughts. So why does that happen? The reason that happens is because this is the first time all day that you've given yourself a chance to be still and be quiet and all those thoughts are flooding your mind and they're keeping you up and you're like, oh God, and again, now you're stressed, you know, you're worried, you sleep like crap, uh, you wake up tired, and then next day you're not as productive, which creates more stress, more anxiety, and it just builds on itself. So if you take the time to meditate before you go to sleep, it gives you an opportunity to clear your thoughts, clear your mind, uh, and therefore have a deeper, more restful sleep uh, and fall asleep more quickly and then therefore you wake up more rested uh, you wake up relaxed with a clear mind you're better able to handle whatever the day is gonna throw at you one more benefit that i think is invaluable for a lot of people uh, is you're able to be less reactive and more responsive so when we're going throughout our day someone says something to you at work you get triggered you react you say or do something and then you look back and go god damn i wish i wouldn't handle it like that so when you're sitting still now what's happening again coming back to the stillness and awareness when you get triggered and you have this stillness and awareness you know it's not going to happen every time right i mean we're all freaking human i've been doing this for years and you know, i still get triggered and react all the time um, on a snap judgment but you know when you become more aware through the practice of meditation when you get triggered next time instead of going like oh and just lashing out at someone you might go shake a deep breath like process the emotion and think about for a second how you're gonna respond or what exactly is happening in the situation um, you know that way again you're able to respond in the best manner rather than kind of react and do what you've always done or say what you've always said. So I want to address some common objections that I get when I talk about meditation with people uh, or they tell me they want to get started and they can't. The biggest one is I don't have time to meditate. There's a saying, I'll start with that. People who have time to meditate should meditate for 10 minutes a day. People who don't have time to meditate should meditate for an hour a day. The reason why is because, again, that anxiety, right? Just that anxiousness alone. I don't have time to meditate. I have too much stuff to do. I got to do this. I got to do this. And uh, the way I'll phrase it to you or kind of give you a different perspective is this. Imagine if you are you know, inundated with thoughts and distractions. How effective are you going to be at completing the task at hand? You'll get it done, but... Imagine if you take some time to meditate and you're present, you're aware, you have a clear mind and you're focused, how much more effective are you going to be at the task at hand? Would you produce a better result? Would you get it done in less time? So in the end, you know, the analogy I'll use, it's like chopping down a tree with a blunt ax. If you're inundated with thoughts and your ax is blunt, well, it's going to take you a hell of a lot longer and a lot more effort to chop that tree down. But if you sit still and you sharpen the ax through meditation two swings bam bam done so that's what meditation is it's about sharpening your mind sharpening your focus so now let's get into the nuts and bolts of how to meditate and how we're going to go about this and it's super simple i mean the best thing is it's free uh, and all you need is a, a quiet place and even if you don't have a quiet place um, a more practiced uh you know meditator i'll say can probably deal with some distractions in the background but if you're starting definitely try to get into a room or a place where you can be by yourself uh, for about five minutes because i'm going to take you through a nice guided quiet meditation um, just to give you a little taste of what it feels like and the clarity that you can create and the peace uh, by practicing this stuff regularly so in order to meditate what we're going to do is a guided mindful meditation uh, what i want you to do is just it's all about the breath. That's how we meditate. We focus on the breath. So what'll happen when we start meditating and we going, we're going through this, what's gonna happen is we're gonna start by focusing on your breath and being still. 
If you've never done this before or you have trouble meditating, this will be great for you because uh, I'm going to walk you through a lot of what's happening. So when you breathe and you're relaxing, instantly what's going to happen is thoughts going to come into your head and it's going to say, oh crap, I got to you know, pick up my kids or oh shoot, I got to leave in 10 minutes or oh, I got to do this, right? So referring back to the beginning of the video, the purpose is, the analogy is to be standing at the train station and acknowledge the train and let it go. So your thoughts are the train. So you're breathing, a thought comes in, you acknowledge it, you wave and say hi, but you don't jump on the train. We breathe again, we let that thought go. Focus on your breath. Here comes another thought. Breathe, acknowledge it, wave hi, exhale, let that thought go. Breathe, thought comes in, acknowledge it, wave hi, let it go. Again, all about the focus on the breath. The power of the meditation is all about the quality of your breath. So let's dive into a very simple guided mindful meditation. The first thing I want you to do is find a comfortable place where you can sit and be alone. You can sit on the ground, you can sit on the chair, somewhere where you're comfortable. Uh, I don't want you to lie down for this first one because I don't want you to fall asleep, especially if you're new to meditation. Uh, you're gonna feel relaxed and you're gonna zonk out and I don't want you to do that. I want you to you know, stay with me during this process. Um, and as you become more practiced, you know, maybe you can lay down or something like that. So uh, again, find a comfortable place, find a comfortable seat, relax, and we will begin. First thing I want you to do is gently close your eyes so your eyelids are closed and barely touching. We're gonna take a deep breath in first. So inhale with me. We're gonna count inhale. Exhale. We're gonna do another deep cleansing breath. You're gonna breathe in deeply for one, two, three, four breaths. You're gonna hold it in. And you're gonna exhale. Relax. Good. Now with your eyes closed, I want you to take a gentle inventory of your body starting from the top of your head, going down into your forehead, through your face, moving down into the shoulders. And what you're doing is you're gently noticing the tension that you're holding in your body. Are you feeling tight in your neck, in your shoulders, in your back, in your chest? Just notice the tension all the way down to your toes. Take that tension and inhale deeply. And on the exhale, let all that tension go. Relax, shake it out. And now what I want you to do with your eyes closed is I want you to focus on your nose. And breathe naturally and let your body naturally flow with the breath. And I want you to focus on what the air feels like coming into your nostrils. All your focus and attention, exhaling, relax. Just focusing on the gentle rise and fall of your chest. As the thoughts come in, we acknowledge the thought, we wave to it, exhale, we let it go. Coming back to the breath, we inhale and exhale, naturally breathing. Focusing your awareness on the rise of your chest and the gentle fall. <laughs> and 
as the thoughts come in, we acknowledge the thoughts. We wave to them and exhale, relax. Just breathing. Relaxing more with each breath. Acknowledging the thought. Exhaling, letting go of the thought. Coming back to the breath. Inhale, and exhale at your own pace, becoming centered, and breathing. Checking in with your body, gently noticing any tension that you're still holding on to. And we inhale. And exhale, let go of the tension. And come back to the breath. The rise of your chest. In the fall. Practicing on your own for just a few minutes. If you notice any thoughts that you're holding on to, and now you're thinking about different things, we inhale again. We exhale, we let go of that thought. You're gently bringing your awareness back to your chest, taking a gentle breath in. <sighs> <sighs> 